Welcome back to Mom Jessa's class. In this video, aaralin natin how to solve equations transformable to quadratic equations. So, ano ba ang ating objectives in this video or in this lesson? The learners are expected to transform rational algebraic equation into quadratic equation. So, ano ibig sabihin nun? We have to rewrite rational algebraic equation into quadratic equation and solves equations transformable to quadratic equation. So, pag na-rewrite na natin into quadratic equation, kukunin naman natin yung roots or yung solution. Ano ba yung rational algebraic equation? Rational algebraic equation is an equation containing at least one fraction whose numerator and denominator are polynomials. These are examples of rational algebraic equation. x plus 8 over x minus 2 is equal to 1 plus 4x over x minus 2. We have x over 2 minus 6 over x is equal to 2. x is equal to 2 over x minus 1. So, ayan yung mga example ng ating rational algebraic equation na i-rewrite natin into quadratic equation. Ano ba yung mga concepts na kailangan natin para dito sa lesson natin na to? We have special products. So, yung babanggitin ko lang dito yung ating madalas na gamitin. Uh, yung point method and yung square of binomial. Properties of equality. Addition and subtraction property of equality or yung tinatawag natin transpose. And distributive property. Siyempre, kailangan din natin yung least common denominator since fraction na ang ating uh, lesson or yung LCD natin na pinatawag na natutunan pa natin nung elementary. And methods in solving quadratic equation. Siyempre, pag nare-write na natin into quadratic equation, standard form of quadratic equation, kukunin naman natin yung kanyang solution or yung roots. No? Siyempre, natutunan na natin yung factoring, yung extracting square root, completing the square, at saka yung quadratic formula. So, ayan yung gagamitin natin to find the solution or the roots of quadratic equation. Example number one x multiplied by x minus 5 is equal to 36. So, itong example natin na to, hindi siya rational algebraic equation. Pero, we can rewrite it into quadratic equation. So, i-rewrite natin siya into standard form of quadratic equation which is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So, i-rewrite ko lang. Then, we have to distribute x sa x minus 5. So, therefore, x times x, x squared, and x times negative 5, ay negative 5x is equal to 36. Then, transpose natin si 36. Bakit? Kasi hindi pa siya naka-standard form. So, pag tinanspose natin siya, magkakaroon tayo ng x squared minus 5x minus 36 is equal to 0. So, therefore, x squared minus 5x minus 36 is equal to 0. Siya ang ating quadratic equation dito sa ating given equation. Ngayon naman, kunin natin yung solution or roots. Ano, ano ba yung solution niya or yung kanyang roots? So, nire-write ko lang x squared minus 5x minus 36 is equal to 0. Kukunin ko yung roots by factoring. So, anong titignan ko? First term, x squared. Anong factor ng x squared? Is x times x. Ngayon, ano yung magiging terms na itong ating binomial dito? 
So, titignan po naman yung negative 36 or yung last term. Ano yung factor ng negative 36 na kapag in ko, negative 5, which is yung ating value ng B, at kapag naman minultiply ko, ay negative 36 ang magiging sagot. So, therefore, negative 9 and 4 ang factor ng negative 36. Bakit? Negative 9 times 4 is negative 36. And negative 9 plus 4 is negative 5. So, siya yung ilalagay natin para makompleto ang ating binomial. So, magkakaroon tayo ng factor na quantity x minus 9 multiplied by quantity x plus 4 is equal to 0. So, equate natin sa 0 or gagamitin natin yung zero product property or simply sa madaling salita pag hihiwalay natin yung x minus 9 at saka x plus 4. So, magkakaroon tayo ng una, x minus 9 is equal to 0 at x plus 4 is equal to 0. Transpose natin yung negative 9. So, magkakaroon tayo ng x is equal to 9 at sa kabila, magkakaroon tayo ng uh, x is equal to negative 4. So, therefore, ang solution natin ay negative 4 and 9. Example number 2. Square of binomial x plus 5 plus square of binomial x minus 2 is equal to 37. So, expand natin ang ating square of binomial x plus 5 at saka square of binomial x minus 2 para mara-write natin sila into standard form of quadratic equation. So, dun muna tayo sa una. X, uh, square of x plus 5. No? Square of binomial x plus 5. So, tingnan natin yung first term which is yung x. Square natin yun. So, magkakaroon tayo ng x squared or x times x. And then, multiply the first term which is yung x and second term. So, multiply first term and second term. So, 5x times 2. Lagi yung multiply sa 2. Magkakaroon tayo ng 10x. And then, square the last term. Square the last term which is yung 5. So, multiply. Multiply lang natin, 5 times 5. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 25. And then, dito na tayo sa second square binomial. Yung x minus 2 at yung x minus 2. So, tignan natin ulit yung first term, which is yung x. So, x squared. Kasi na, square the first term. And then, multiply the first and second term, which is x multiplied by negative 2 is negative 2 times 2. Lagi ito times sa 2. So, magkakaroon tayo ng negative 4x. And then, square the last term which is negative 2. So, negative 2 squared or negative 2 times negative 2 is 4 is equal to 37. Now, combine similar terms. Anong similar terms? Yan yung dalawang x squared. So, x squared plus x squared is 2x squared. Then, ano pang similar terms dyan? Yung 10x at saka negative 4x. So, 10x minus 4x is positive 6x. Ano pang similar terms dyan? Yung 25 and 4. So, 25 plus 4 is 29 is equal to 37. Now, we have to transpose 37 sa left side of the equation. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 2x squared plus 6x plus 29 minus 37 is equal to 0. Copy lang yung 2x squared plus 6x. Then, 29 minus 37 is negative 8. Or, magkakaroon tayo ng 2x squared plus 6x minus 8 is equal to 0. So, ayan ang ating standard form of quadratic equation ng ating given equation. Kunin naman natin yung solution ng 2x squared plus 6x minus 8 is equal to 0. So, rewrite lang. 
gagamitin ko ay completing the square. So, kailangan ang value ng a ay 1. Since dito, ang value ng a ay 2, so we have to divide them by 2. Yung 2x squared divided by 2, 6x divided by 2, and negative 8 divided by 2. So, magkakaroon tayo ng x squared plus 3x minus 4 is equal to 0. Ngayon, we have to isolate the constant term. So, ang constant term natin dyan ay yung negative 4. So, tapos natin si negative 4. So, magkakaroon tayo ng x squared plus 3x is equal to 4. And then, we have to complete the perfect square binomial. So, magkakaroon tayo ng iaad natin dito sa left side at iaad natin dito sa right side. So, ano nga ulit yung titignan natin? Kapag uh, kinukuha natin yung value na i-add natin dito. So, titignan natin yung value ng B. So, ang value ng B ay 3 divide by 2. So, 3 halves or 3 over 2. And then, square. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 3 squared over 2 squared. So, ang magiging sagot ay 9 over 4. So, ang galing yung 9 sa 3 squared or 3 times 3. So, ang galing yung 4 sa 2 squared or 2 times 2. So, yan yung ilalagay natin sa ating dalawang blank. Now, we have to express x squared plus 3x plus 9 over 4 sa square of binomial. So, magkakaroon tayo ng square of binomial x plus 3 halves is equal to c4 plus 9 over 4 ay kailangan maging similar fraction. So, kailangan maging similar fraction sila. Ngayon, para ang similar fraction nila ay 16 over 4 plus 9 over 4. So, yun na. Similar fraction na sila. Ma'am, bakit naging 16 over 4 yung 4? Kasi, nag-isip ako ng number na kapag binibay ko sa 4, uh, 4 ang sagot. Bakit binibay sa 4? Kasi nga, ang denominator ng 9 ay 4. No? Siyempre, di ba? Kapag binasa natin yan, 9 divided by 4. So, kailangan magkaroon ako ng number na i-divide ko sa 4 na ang sagot ay 4. So, para ang, ang denominator nila ay equal na. Kaya sila magiging similar fraction. Next, uh, magkakaroon tayo na 16 plus 9. So, 25 over 4. Um, saan galing ulit yung 25? Sa 16 plus 9. Bakit sila ngayon na-add? Kasi nga sila, fraction na sila. No? Copy lang yung denominator na 4. So, from square of binomial x plus 3 half is equal to 25 over 4, we have to extract them. So, magkakaroon tayo ng square root of square of binomial x plus 3 half is equal to positive negative square root of 25 over 4. Then, makakancel out ang ating radical sign or yung square root sign at saka yung squared. Matitiran tayo ng x plus 3 halves is equal to positive negative 5 halves. Saan galing yung 5 halves? Yung 5 sa square root of 25, yung 2 galing sa square root of 4. Now, we have to transpose 3 halves sa right side of the equation. So, magkakaroon tayo ng x is equal to positive negative 5 halves minus 3 halves. Ngayon, kailangan natin paghiwalayin si positive at negative 5 halves. So, una, magkakaroon tayo ng positive uh, 5 halves minus 3 halves. And para naman sa negative, negative 5 halves minus 3 halves. Dito sa una, 5 halves minus 3 halves, we have 2 over 2. Or 2 divided by 2 is 1. And then, para naman sa negative 5 halves minus 3 halves, we have negative 8 over 2. Or negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. Another example x is equal to 2 over x minus 1. So, i-rewrite natin siya into 
quadratic equation. Ano tong given na to? Ito na yung rational algebraic equation. So, i-rewrite natin sa standard form of quadratic equation na ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Tignan natin si x. Kung makikita nyo si x ay hindi nyo makikitaan ng denominator. Pero, hindi ibig sabihin wala siyang denominator. Ang denominator niya ay imaginary 1. And then, ang denominator naman netong 2 over x minus 1 ay x minus 1. So, anong LCD nila? Ang LCD nila ay x minus 1. Or simply, 1 multiplied by x minus 1. So, syempre, pag multiply mo yun, is x minus 1. So, yun ang kanilang LCD. E rewrite ko lang si x is equal to 2 over x minus 1. Imumultiply natin si x is equal to 2 over x minus 1 sa kanyang LCD na x minus 1. So, imumultiply natin both sides of the equation. So, distribute natin si x minus 1. So, x minus 1 multiplied by x para dito sa uh, left side of the equation is equal to is equal to x minus 1 multiplied by 2 over x minus 1. So, dito yun sa right side of the equation. So, distribute natin si x, itong x, sa x minus 1. So, x multiplied by x, meron tayong x squared. And then, x multiplied by negative 1, magkakaroon tayo ng negative x is equal to cancel out yung x minus 1. Kasi denominator ng 2 ay x minus 1. So, makakancel out, matitiran tayo ng 2. So, therefore, ang natira dito sa ating right side of the equation ay 2. So, hindi pa naka-standard form ang x squared minus x is equal to 2. So, i -re rewrite natin into standard form. So, paano yon Transpose natin si 2 or gamitin natin yung addition or subtraction property of equality. So, magiging x squared minus x minus 2 is equal to 0. So, saan galing ulit yung negative 2? dito sa, sa right side of the equation, pinanspose. So, therefore, x squared minus x minus 2 is equal to 0. Naka-standard form na siya ng quadratic equation. Kunin naman natin ngayon yung kanyang hugus or yung solution. So, gagamitin ko ay factoring. So, ano kaya ang solution ng x squared? minus x minus 2 is equal to 0. By factoring, we need to look for the first term, which is yung x squared. Ang factor ng x squared ay x times x. And then, tingnan ulit natin yung last term or yung constant term natin, which is negative 2. Ano yung factor ng negative 2 na kapag inad ko, magkakaroon ako ng negative 1 which is yung ating value ng b. And then, pag minultiply ko naman, magkakaroon ako ng negative 2 or yung value ng c. So, syempre, negative 2 and 1. So, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. So, meron na tayo. Ito yun, yung value ng c. And then, negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. So, ito yun, yung value ng b. So, therefore, para makompleto natin ang ating binomials, ang factor niya, so, magkakaroon tayo ng x minus 2 multiplied by x plus 1. Ngayon, equate natin sa 0 ulit. So, equate natin sa 0. x minus 2 is equal to 0. And x plus 1 is equal to 0. So, saan galing ito? Dito. Ito, saan galing? Dito. In equate to 0. O yung 0 product property. Then, transpose natin si negative 2. Magkakalang tayo ng x is equal to 2. 
And then, sa kabila naman, si positive 1 ta-transpose, magkakayon tayo ng negative 1. So, therefore, ang ating solutions ay negative 1 and 2. Another example, x over 2 minus 6 over x is equal to 2. Ano, ano yung LCD ng uh, 2? Siyempre, imaginary 1 ulit. No? Ano ngayon ang LCD nilang tatlo ng ating mga denominator? 2x at saka imaginary 1. Ano ang kanilang LCD? Ang LCD nila ay 2x. San galing yung 2x? So, 2 times x times 1. So, 2x. Ngayon, imumultiply ulit natin ang ating equation sa kanilang LCD. So, ang LCD ay 2x. Multiply natin both sides of the equation. So, paghiwalay ulit natin, isa-isahin natin sila. So, 2x multiplied by x over 2 minus 2x multiplied by x over, ah, rather, 2x multiplied by 6 over x is equal to 2 multiplied by 2x. So, solve natin. So, dito sa ating unang terms, etong 2x multiplied by x over 2. Maka-cancel out yung dalawang 2. Itong 2. So, matitiran tayo ng x squared. Bakit x squared? Saan galing yung x squared? Sa x times x na natira. No? Then, next, cancel out naman dito si x at saka x. Sila naman yung na-cancel out kasi sila yung pareho. So, matitiran tayo ng negative 12. Bakit tayo nagkaroon ng negative 12? San galing yun? Sa negative 2 multiplied by 6 is equal to 4x. Bakit 4x? 2 times 2x. Next, transpose natin yung 4x sa left side of the equation. So, magkakaroon tayo ng x squared minus 4x minus 12 is equal to 0. So, ayan na, may standard form na tayo ng quadratic equation na galing sa ating rational algebraic equation which is x squared minus 4x minus 12 is equal to 0. Kunin naman natin ngayon yung solution nila no, ang solution natin, kunin natin by factoring. So, ipapactor out ulit natin si x squared minus 4x minus 12 is equal to 0. So, syempre titignan ulit natin yung first term which is yung x squared. So, anong factor ng x squared? Syempre, x times x. And, tingnan natin yung last term, which is negative 12. Anong factor ng negative 12 na kapag in ay negative 4 at kapag multiply ay negative 12? So, ang factor niya ay negative 6 at 2. So, negative 6 multiplied by 2, magkakaroon tayo ng negative 12. And, negative 6 plus 2 is equal to negative Four. So, ang factor ng ating negative 12 ay negative 6 at 2. So, ayun yung kukumpleto sa ating binomials. So, negative 6 and positive 2. So, therefore, ang factor ng x squared minus 4x minus 12 ay quantity x minus 6 multiplied by quantity x plus 2 is equal to 0. So, equate natin yung x minus 6 saka x plus 2 sa 0. Or yung tinatawag natin zero product property. So, magkakaroon tayo ng x minus 6 is equal to 0 at x plus 2 is equal to 0. Pinag-iwalay, kumbaga. No? So, 
transpose natin si negative 6 sa right side of the equation, magkakaroon tayo ng x is equal to 6. At sa kabila naman, transpose si 2, so magkakaroon tayo ng x is equal to negative 2. So therefore, ang solutions ay negative 2 at 6. So ito ang solution ng rational algebraic at uh, algebraic equation na tinanspor, tinanspor natin into quadratic equation na x minus x over 2 minus x over x is equal to 2. Another example, x plus 8 over x minus 2 is equal to 1 plus 4x over x minus 2. Ano ang kanilang LCD? Ang LCD nila ay x minus 2. No? So, ngayon, i-multiply ulit natin si x minus 2 sa right side and left side of the equation. So, magkakaroon tayo na x minus 2 multiplied by x plus 8 over x minus 2 is equal to 1 plus 4x over x minus 2. So, i-multiply natin or paghiwalayin natin para mas madali natin makita. So, magkakaroon tayo ng x minus 2 multiplied by x para dito sa una. Sa x minus 2 multiplied by x. Another one. x minus 2 multiplied by 8 over x minus 2. Sa right side of the equation naman, x minus 2 multiplied by 1. And x minus 2 multiplied by positive 4x over x minus 2. So, simplify natin. So, multiply natin si x by x. So, magkakaroon tayo ng x squared. And negative 2 multiplied by x. So, magkakaroon tayo ng negative 2x. Multiplied natin si x minus 2 kay 8 over x minus 2. Makakancel out si x minus 2. Matitiran tayo ng 8. So, ito lang yung matitira. Sa left side, sa right side of the equation naman, itong right side of the equation, 1 multiplied by x minus 2, syempre, is x minus 2 lang yon. And, dito naman sa x minus 2 multiplied by 4x over x minus 2, makakancel out ang x minus 2. Matitiran tayo ng 4x. So, we need to transpose x minus 2 plus 4x sa ating left side of the equation. So, hindi ko na siya pinagsama to. Transpose ko na muna lahat. No? Hindi ko na muna pinagsama si x at saka si 4x. Pero pwede niyan pagsamahin 5x ang lalabas. So, pero, sinaspose ko muna silang lahat. So, magkakaroon ako ng x squared minus 2x plus 8 minus x plus 2 minus 4x is equal to 0. So, combine similar terms. So, ang similar terms natin, um, si x squared, wala siyang similar terms. Nag-iisa lang siya. Kaya, copy lang. And then, ano pa? Negative 2x, saka yung negative x, at saka negative 4x. San galing yung negative 2x tinopia dito? San galing yung negative x tinanspose mula dito? Sa right side. Ito yun, yung x. San galing yung negative 4x mula dito sa 4x na tinanspose? Kaya yun, no So, combine similar terms natin yan. Negative 2x minus x minus 4x magkakaroon tayo ng negative 7x. Or, syempre, magkakaroon na tayo ng minus 7x. And then, ano pa yung similar terms dyan? Meron pa tayong 8 at saka 2. So, 8 plus 2, syempre, 
meron tayong 10 is equal to 0. So, therefore, ang standard form ng quadratic equation na mula dito sa ating rational algebraic expression ay x squared minus 7x plus 10 is equal to 0. Ngayon, yan yung ating standard form. Kunin naman natin yung kanyang solutions or yung roots. So, paano natin kukunin ang kanyang solution or roots? Siyempre, gagamitin ko ulit ay factoring. So, ipapactor out ulit natin si x squared minus 7x plus 10 is equal to 0. So, tingnan ulit natin yung first term na x squared. Anong factor ng first term? Or ng x squared? Siyempre, x times x. Then, tingnan natin yung last term. Anong factor ng last term? Or anong factor ng 10 na kapag in natin ay negative 7? Kapag naman minultiply natin ay magkakaroon tayo ng positive 10. So, syempre, ang factors nyo noon ay negative 5 and negative 2. So, negative 5 times negative 2 is positive 10. And negative 5 plus negative 2 is negative 7. So, ayun yung kukumpleto sa ating factor. So, therefore, magkakaroon tayo ng x minus 5 multiplied by x minus 2. Then, zero product property. Paghiwalayin natin, kumbaga, no? So, x minus 5, mula yan dito, is equal to 0. And x minus 2, mula naman dito yan, is equal to 0. Transpose si negative 5. So, magkakaroon tayo ng x plus is equal to 5. Transpose si negative 2. Magkakaroon tayo ng 2. No? So, therefore, ang solutions ay 5 and 2. Let us check our solution in our last example. We obtain solutions 5 and 2. So, to check this uh, 5 and 2, we have to substitute 5 and 2 in our original equation, which is x plus 8 over x minus 2 is equal to 1 plus 4x over x minus 2. Kailangan mag-satisfy yung 5 at 2 dito sa ating equation. So, paano yun? Simulan natin kay 5. No? Substitute natin ang value ng 5 sa ating equation. Sa lahat ng x, yung x papalitan natin lahat ng 5. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 5 plus 8 over 5 minus 2 is equal to 1 plus 4 multiplied by 5 over 5 minus 2. So, simplify. We will have 5 plus 8 over 3 is equal to 1 plus 20 over 3. Ma'am, saan galing yung 20? Dito sa 4 times 5. Saan galing yung 3 dito sa baba or sa denominator mula sa 5 minus 2 natin. So, ngayon, further simplifying, we will have 23 over 3, both sides. So, therefore, uh, 5 satisfies our original equation. How about the value of 2? Kailangan mag-satisfy din yung value ng 2 dito sa ating original equation. So, Substitute, substitute natin yung ating 2 sa lahat ng x dito sa ating equation. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 2 plus 8 over 2 minus 2 is equal to 1 plus 4 multiplied by 2 over 2 minus 2. Further simplifying, magkakaroon tayo ng 2 plus 8 over 0 is equal to 1 plus 8 over 0. As you can see, meron tayong denominator na 0. Saan galing yung 0? So, 2 minus 2. No? Since 0 ang ating naging denominator, so therefore, dyan pa lang, masasabi natin na si 2 will not satisfy our original equation. So therefore, um, si 2 is an extraneous root. 
Ano ba yung extraneous root? It is a root of transformed equation that is not a root of the original equation. So, hindi siya nagsatisfy kasi sa ating um, original equation. That's all students. I hope may natutunan ulit kayo sa aking video lesson. See you next time!